Hi, this is Isling from Fiat Marketing, and today I want to talk to you about the Total Online Presence Review. If you're trying to figure out why you're not generating leads from your website, or if your competitors are gaining like key keyword advantages on Google, whether they're in Google Ads or on the first page of Google, a good place to start is to conduct a Total Online Presence Audit. Now in a total online presence audit, there's a website review, editorial content review, SEO factors, a social profile review, a Google My Business review, a directory and citation review, online reputation, and a competitive landscape. And we'll go through each of these some more. Now for your website review, is it mobile optimized? Go through and see on your home page and your about page whether there's a title tag, alt text on your pictures, a meta description, H1 tags, and schema. You can use the website Grader from HubSpot or WooRank to help you discover these website elements faster. Now for your editorial content, does the home page actually address a problem? Is there a good call to action on your home page to build trust? And is there a target audience that your home page is going after? That's very important for B2B businesses. So is there also 300 to 400 words on the home page? Because you need some words on your home page for SEO so that Google and search engines can find you. Is there a good clear call to action in your header bar and in the top fold of your pages? And are there content upgrades where people can swap their information for content upgrades such as to a white paper? You can put that on your home page or put it deeper within your website. Finally, is there also a blog for your website? That's a good way to build SEO value as well. Now, next is SEO factors and backlinks. We like to use moz.com for our SEO research. Figure out what your domain authority is, whether or not you have any inbound links, and how many index pages you have, and what traffic you have. Those are really important factors for your SEO particularly your domain authority and the number of inbound links you have and how many websites are linking to your uh, are linking to your website. That builds trust and authority online in Google's eyes. Now next for social profiles, you need to be where your target audience is hanging out online. For most B2B businesses, that would be LinkedIn. Now you want to have measures of your engagement, your activity, and your branding on the, your social platform. Now I recommend using LinkedIn if you're a B2B business, but you can also use Facebook too. Just depends on where your audience is. So you need to know where your audience is hanging out before you decide to choose LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter to hang out or even Instagram. Or also, you want your website to have social icons to link back to your social profiles. So if you just have LinkedIn, then have a LinkedIn icon on your um, website. We like using a tool called Rival IQ to see what your competitors are doing in the social space as well. Next is a Google by Business review. Now in the B2B space, I've seen a lot of knowledge blocks instead of Google by Business pages, but the good thing about having a Google by Business page is that you can collect reviews from your customers, which increases the trust that you have online. And when your prospective customers or clients are doing research on you, they can go to your Google my Business page and look at the reviews on there. So something, some things to look at your Google My Business page. Is the category accurate? 
Is your name, address, and phone number accurate and consistent? Are there reviews for your business? And are there photos and posts to see so your prospective clients can see that you're an actual business and you're actually human as well? So next is directory and citation review. We, can, we use a tool called Yex to make sure that all of our directories and citations are the same across the internet. And we also use Yex for schema markup as well. So schema markup would be put under the SEO category, but we use Yex for schema markup as well. So you wanna do a citation profile scan using the free Yex in the link uh, below this video. Um, and you can see what your uh, citations are. Are you maintaining this, the constant name, address, and phone number across the web, like in Yelp and Facebook and other platforms, or are, are you not staying consistent? Next is online reputation. What, are, what is your review saying on Google, Facebook, and even on LinkedIn in your personal reviews? What are, what are they saying? We like to use a tool called BirdEye to keep track of our reviews and reputation. And we do that for our clients as well. Finally, there's the competitive landscape. Who are your competitors and what are their top posts on social media? How are you comparing to them in terms of follower counts and uh, engagement on their posts? You can see where they're doing better than you so you can get better and hopefully do better than your competitors. Now, a lot of people say that the followers and likes are kind of like vanity metrics, and they are, in a sense, if you don't have your ideal cu customer or ideal client engaging with your post. So there's a fine line there. We use a tool called Rival IQ to monitor our competitors' social media. Uh, that includes Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and Instagram, and YouTube, and you can monitor uh, what they're saying across different um, event, across different time scales. There's you know six months to a year, so there's a lot you can do. Please share this video and see how uh, and see how we're doing, and please comment below. Thanks.